Hey everyone, so now I'm gonna go over two more styles. So we have the first one that I went over with the shapes. The next one I'm gonna go over is bubble letters that have a shadow and then an outline around it, which in actuality, you're gonna do an outline around all of them when we do the final, but for the practice, you don't need to worry about that. But I will go over the bubble and the shadow here. So you would write your word. So again, I'm doing art. Remember, you're doing five letters. I'm doing this just to save time for my demonstration. Okay, then you would do, much like the first one where we did bars, now you're doing bubbles. And if you want them to not match up perfect at the top because you want to have a little interesting shape up here, you can do that. Okay. The R. Now, for curved areas, for the D, they do two separate ones here. So I'm gonna do the same thing for the R. I'm gonna do one here, one here. You can always adjust the shape if you're not happy with it afterwards. And one here, and here. Okay, now you would go in and erase everything. Now, again, I'm gonna go over three, but you don't have to do the three I'm going over. I'm gonna be providing five different um, worksheets of directions. So if you wanna try out a different one, you could as well. All right. Now this doesn't meet up, so I'm just gonna actually round that out instead. And if you find that you want them even bubblier, and just make them fatter. You can basically, if I wanna make this T a little fatter and give it a little more of a shape down here, you can simply do that. And then get rid of this part here. Okay, now, this actually also shows little lines to give it sort of a shine to it, much like bubbles have, so you can do Make sure you erase everything fully. Some of this needs more erasing. And again, clearly I didn't finish this erasing this one yet. You need to erase everything. Okay. All right, now for the shadow, I'm gonna show a little bit of the bottom and I'm actually gonna show a little bit of the right. So I'll do, oops. And you want it to mimic the shape of the letter. So I'll do bottom right, bottom here, I'll do Bottom right here, bottom right, bottom right. This is the right side of this. If this was its own bar, that's the right side. And I'm making it get thicker towards the bottom. Bottom, right, and right. Okay, now for the final we would be shading that in in black, but for the practice exercise, you could just leave it in pencil. If you want to shade it in, you can. All right, and then the last one I'm gonna show you is um, serif letters. So serifs are these, like Times New Roman has serifs on it. Sans serif means without serifs, all right? So like Arial would have, it would be sans serif because it doesn't have serifs. This is sans serif, this is serif. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, again, write it. Okay. 
Then I'm going to add serifs to all the corners and edges. Which is what they did here. Okay. Then I would put bars on all of that again. Just like I did on the first one I showed you. And again, you might adjust it if it looks a little off. It might change where you put stuff. or the thickness of it. Okay, and then you go back and erase all the inside parts. All right, so again, you're picking three different graffiti style techniques to write your tag that you chose. It can be these if you want, or it can be different ones from the worksheets I'm providing you with. There's two more as well that you'll see. And you need to have at least five letters. And then you're gonna pick out your favorite and do something similar for your final. So for my final, I actually did combination, locating that. I actually combined the bubble letters and the shape coming out of it. So I did these two combined. So when we get to that part, we'll discuss different combinations or possibilities with your final. And that's it.